what's your number? The question is cliche. I don't think my number is high. Eight. But it's higher than some of my friends. It's definitely higher than my friends from college. The college friends that know me from my slightly wilder days. Days of drunken nights at clubs and weekends in Vegas. We knew each other's number then. Mine was almost always the highest. I never thought of it as a proud achievement or a source of shame. Just a fact. Now it haunts me. One summer I studied abroad. A week into my semester there, I met a boy. After a couple of dates, I took him back to my dorm. I asked if he had a condom, and he didn't. I stopped him, and he was okay with that. We kissed some more. At some point, I calculated the risks. Both from first world countries, highly educated, the chances seemed thin, and I was on the pill. I gambled wrong. A year later, I tested HIV positive. I've only had sex once without a condom. Risks, odds, I had bad luck, says my doctor, therapist, co-workers. Six years later, I still don't think my number is high, but now it's not a simple fact. I feel it on my skin like a scar, an ugly deformation that would cause people to judge me. I particularly feel what those close college friends might think. With all the secrets they know, will they think that it's my own fault? Will they think I'm a slut? I see them each about three times a year. It never seems like a good time to tell them. I think I'm okay without knowing what they would think if they knew I was HIV positive. <laughs>